In this lecture, we'll be discussing another solved problem on process synchronization. And this is a question that was asked in GATE 1998 CS paper. So this is a question which is from a bit older papers, but this kind of questions are still asked. And this is also a very simple and small question, but we need to be thorough with the topics in order to solve these questions quickly. So let's see what is this question. So it says a counting semaphore was initialized to 10. Then 6P that is weight operations and 4V that is signal operations were completed on this semaphore. The resulting value of the semaphore is what? And we have four options A0, B8, C10 and D12. So we need to find out what is the final value of this semaphore. So here we see that we are using a counting semaphore, not a binary semaphore. So we have to keep in mind there are two kinds of semaphore we have discussed, binary semaphores and counting semaphores. So binary semaphores have only two values, which is either zero or one. And counting semaphores can have different number of values. So here we are using a counting semaphore whose initial value is set to 10. And then there are the P operations, which is known as a weight operations, which is performed six times. And then there is the V operation, which is a signal operation that is performed four times. So if these are performed, what will be the final resulting value of the semaphore? That is what we need to find out. So let's just recall what is the meaning of this P and V. We have already studied this. So in semaphores, we have already studied the meanings of the weight and the signal operations. So weight is denoted by P and signal is denoted by V. So whenever there is a weight operation, in the definition of weight, we see that there is going to be a decrement of the semaphore by one. So whatever is the value of the semaphore, it will be decremented by one after the weight operation is performed. That means after P is executed, S will be decremented by one. And the V operation, which is a signal operation, in this we see that the value of the semaphore is incremented by one. So whenever the signal or V operation is performed, the semaphore's value will be incremented by one. So these are the two things that we need to keep in mind in order to solve that problem. All right, so as we come back here, let's see what is the value of the semaphore S that we have. So the value of S, which is the counting semaphore that we are talking about in this question, is initialized to 10 in the beginning. So 10 is the value. And then we see that six P operations are performed. So what is the meaning of P? We already saw P means weight. And whenever P is performed, we saw that there is a decrement of the S by one. So there will be minus one to this. So there is minus one. And then we see that it is performed six times. So two, three, four, five, six. So from 10, we subtract six. So what do we get? The resulting value is equal to four. So when the P operation is performed six times, the resulting value is four because whenever P is performed, the semaphore is decremented by one value of s is equal to 4. Now what happens after this, the signal operation which is v is performed four times. So if it is performed four times, what does it mean? We have to add one to it four times. One, two, three and four. So what does it give us? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get the value equal to eight. So the final answer is option b which is eight. So this is a small question which can be asked for probably a lower number of marks. But if your concepts are clear, you can easily solve it. So I hope this was also clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.